So in this video, I'm going to be talking about multiplying and dividing integers. So the rules we're going to be looking at, um, if you've got two positive integers and you're multiplying them, you're going to get a positive. Two negatives, you're going to get a positive as well. So just remember, if they're the same, you're going to get a positive answer. Then if they're different, you're going to get a negative. So say if you have a plus by a minus, you're going to get a negative, and a minus by a plus, you're going to get a negative. And this same rule will also work for division as well. So I'll give you a few different examples of that. So say, for example, if we were going to take 3 by 4, that would be equal to 12. So what we have here is we have a case of two positive numbers, and we don't put in the positive sign in front of them. So we've got a positive 3, positive 4, we end up getting a positive 12. What if these were negative numbers? Say if we had a negative 3. So a negative 3 multiplied by, we'll put this in a bracket to separate it, a negative 4. Well, in this case, they have the same sign. So you're going to get 3 by 4 is still 12, and it's still a positive 12 because they're the same sign. So you get the same answer, actually, between these two different sums. We'll try another. We'll try one with different, different uh, symbols in front. So we'll try a negative 2 multiplied by 4. So 2 by 4 is 8. And because it's a negative by a positive, which I haven't written in here, but we can assume it's there if we don't see it, a negative by a positive, that's going to give us a negative 8. We're going to say the same, same rules then will apply also if you're going to do division. So say if you had a negative uh, 16 divided by 4. Well, in this case, you've got a positive 4 dividing into a negative 16. So on the bottom, we've got a positive. On the top, we've got a negative. And you can see here, we've got two different signs. So in this case, we're going to have to get a negative answer. So 4 divided into 16, then, is going to give us 4. So we'll do another example of that, and we'll actually use the division symbol this time. So this time, we're going to get a negative 8 divided into a positive 48. So in this example here, you're going to see that they're different. So you're going to get 8 into 48 goes 6 times, and because they're different, you're going to get a negative. A positive 3 into a negative, again, they're different, so we're going to be going for a negative sign. So 3 into 9 goes 3 times, so we get a negative 3. This one here, we've got a positive 4 into a negative 12. 4 into 12 goes 3 times, and then we're going to get a negative symbol. We could also just try another example where they've got the same sign. So if you have something like negative um, 20 divided by negative 5, so in this case they're going to be the exact same because we've got two negatives. So you've got 5 into 20, and that's going to go four times. And then finally, we'll just do one last one with two positives. So this is something that you'd know anyways. Um, if you've got a thir uh, 15 divided by 5. So this is a plus 15 divided by plus 5. In that case, you're just going to get 3. So we'll have a look at a few more examples now. So this next example, we're going to look at uh, some multiplication and some division combined together in one sum. So we'll just show you how to lay that out. So first of all, we're going to put down our equal sign. and um, going to put down our fraction. Negative 12 at the bottom, we can leave that as it is. And what we're going to do is just work through this step by step. So you can do, when you get good at these, you'll be able to work through the whole line in one go. But for the moment, we're just going to do it piece by piece. And I'd recommend that if you're starting this, if you're new to it, that you just take it one bit at a time. So what we'll do is we'll work with this multiplication sum first and then work with this one. Or you, you could do it the other way around, but this is the way I'm going to do it here. So for the first one, you've got a negative by a positive. So remember in our rule, they're different, so you're going to get a negative. Then you're going to get 3 times 8 is going to give you 24. Finally, you're going to leave in your multiplied by and leave in your negative 6 here. Then we're going to go to our next line and we're going to multiply 24 by 6. So if you multiply 24 by 6, you get 144. Um, and then a negative multiplied by a negative because they're the same sign is going to give you a positive. So I won't write anything in there. And then we're going to get a negative 12. Then finally, we've got a negative into a positive because they're different signs on top and bottom. We're going to leave that as a negative. And then 12 into 144 goes 12 times. 
finally we're going to do this uh, with two more examples here so we'll do this one uh, remember bim das so if you're going to do your brackets first if there's indices you do them then you do multiplication and division and then you're going to do plus and minus so that I, i've reviewed that in another video but I'll, I'll go through the steps here first of all we'll do out our brackets 16 minus 4 is going to give us 12. go to our next line put down equals put in our division symbol divided by 2 plus 5 multiplied by minus 4. next thing we'll do our multiplication we'll do our division at the same time so just highlight what I'm doing here. I'm going to divide 2 into 12. And then I'm going to divide, uh, I'm going to multiply minus 4 by 5. And then finally I'm going to add them together. So 2 into 12 goes 6 times. A minus 4 multiplied by a plus 5. So because they're different symbols here, we're going to have to give it a negative. 4 by 5 is going to give you 20. Finally, 6 minus 20 is going to give us so if you're if you've got a two different signs and you're summing them together you're going to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number so six from 20 is going to give you 14 and then you keep the sign of the biggest number so the biggest number here is at six or 20 it's 20 so 20 is a negative in front of it and you just put a negative in there then uh, finally we'll do this example so again, we'll just tidy off our brackets. We'll press equals here and leave 100 where it is. Put in my division, do out my brackets. 13 minus 3 is 10. Um, plus minus 4, so we'll leave that as it is. And we'll do our, yeah, we'll leave all that as it is first and we'll go on to the next line. It's no harm taking these things step by step, particularly when you're starting with these problems. So the next thing we'll do, we'll do our multiplication and division. So 10 into 100 goes 10 times. Uh, minus 4 multiplied by minus 7. Now, if you see here, they both have different signs, or the same sign. So a minus by a minus, that's going to have to give us a plus. Two minuses together. So we're going to put in our plus here, and then we get 4 by 7 is going to give us 28. And that gives us our final answer then of 38.